Yo, boys, you gotta make up your damn mind. Are you gonna leave? Are you gonna come back? What are you gonna do? This is that classic situation of the vicious cycle, right? Of like, I, I don't know the exact what happened, right? But kind of what I, what, what I was thinking that entire time is like a relationship, right? And, and knowing that something is so bad for you, but you want it and you can't help but keep coming back to it. But you know that going back to it is just going to end the same way and you know that's just going to repeat itself and repeat itself um, going down that negative path, right? But you can't help but just keep coming back to that person or keep coming back to that relationship. But sometimes you just got to cut ties and you just got to make up your damn mind and be like, if this is so bad for the both of us, maybe we both need to just agree to like, right, move on. But what was really cool about how they did this song was that the entire beat was really upbeat but it was almost like this this twisted way of like playing out the song right because it's it's almost like torture right where like you want to leave but you keep coming back you want to leave but you keep getting pulled back and it's like this this torture this cycle that keeps going back and back and back but then the song and the melody and the, and the beat was like really upbeat you know and, and it was kind of like yeah it's interesting it's very interesting very smart boys very smart all right let's jump in next song and you already know what it is diamond let's go This song right here, baby. Throw that in there, why not? Hey! 
This one right here, baby. This is number one thus far for me on this album. This one, even after hearing it live, it was just one of those super vibey, vibey tracks. But this one for me is a is literally a masterpiece. Like everything from the lyrics to the vibe to the beat to everything that came in here was just perfection, guys. And this is one of those standout tracks that you're gonna hear one time and you're gonna know this is, this is EXO. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna know, this, this is the stamp right here. <laughs> hey, Diamond Man did not disappoint. I'm super, super excited because we got one, two, we got four more songs, everybody. Um, I hope they end it with some slower songs, but I'm okay if they, st if they keep doing more tracks like Diamond, I, I'm okay. I, I'm, I'm down with it. <laughs> Alright, so next up we got Touch It. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got some yeah. funk right here. I like it with Kai Rap. I'm liking this. Okay, hold on guys. Let me just quickly go on to my Spotify because this has to go on the playlist like right now. This man, see I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of uptempo songs. You know, like 
I just, I love ballads. I, there's something about ballads that just get me feeling this type of motion, they get me feeling this type of way. But when you can give me an upbeat song and not only make me feel this, like, yo, <laughs> this is crazy. EXO touch it. This, this is, I, I don't even know how to tell you what songs are going to be in the top three. I don't even know. Because I, I know for sure there's already five that I, I'm loving. I don't know how to put them in order. But yeah, this is going into my vibes playlist right now. And alright guys, let's go on to the next one. Because I am super stoked to the last three. We got chill. We got chill. Now I can see why this album's got the war. <laughs> Every single song, it's like this battle. <laughs> the temptations. <laughs> Go back to my two legs side. Beat in the back is so sick. <laughs> hey man. Probably most definitely favorite album thus far. And I, I can't remember who mentioned it on my Patreon, but somebody mentioned that this was the album I needed for my road trip because it has all the bad songs, man. I could have used some of these songs, man. I can't tell you how many times I was like this close to nodding off, right? The road trip to Vancouver, for Calgary to Vancouver, is anywhere from like 12 plus hours, depending on how you drive, where you take your rest, your pit stops, and um, just all that, right? And there were moments where I needed that pick-me-up song. But luckily, I did have a lot of energy drinks with me, and I don't normally drink them. But for that occasion, just to be extra safe, I was drinking energy drinks. But songs like this, and songs like I've heard on the album, that is my energy drink, you know? <laughs> that is the vibe that I needed. But you know what? I'm prepared, I'm ready for next time. And let's jump into the last two songs. 
and we got walk on memories and we have going crazy left guys so let's jump into this My face says it all on that one, and you guys all know this is like right up my alley. And uh, that was beautiful. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> got a little choked up on that one. That was beautiful. Uh, man, there, there's something about the moments when they all get a chance to showcase their vocals because they all sound absolutely incredible, right? And then for the ones who started listening to EXO and thought that Chan Yul and Sehun could only rap and then you hear them with their vocals like this and you're like what? <laughs> like how do you it, it's insane but then Chen man Chen was killing us in this song 
and there was just so many beautiful moments and this is not an easy song to sing right with with all the high notes with all the runs with everything that I do on this and this is another one of those performances that you just absolutely need to see live because it would just like it's it's I, I love I love these type of performances right where you really just get to see them pull back and they're probably all starting like sitting on a stage or sitting on a chair and they're all just singing and they're all just bearing their soul and just giving us some emotion and, and it's moments like that that I just really really connect to and um, I, I, I definitely need sorry guys I'm still a little choked up <laughs> I, I definitely need to see this along with a few of the other songs live because so good so good okay that is it we have one last song and this is called going crazy let's jump in let's do this love you guys
this whole album was insane. <laughs> it was actually insane. Wow. The amount of thought that went into a lot of these songs, I, can, I see why this album is called The War, right? It's just this isn't this internal struggle <laughs> and uh, this album was just honestly insane insane because the funny thing is when I saw Exoplanet 4 I wasn't expecting it to be as like upbeat and like crazy as it was you kind of know what I'm saying like just cuz I'm used to more of the ballad type songs I know they do upbeat but they weren't really my, my favorites but then seeing them do power seeing them do diamond live man they 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 have done something to me that no other group has ever been able to do is like really make me fall in love with that type of vibe you know um, and this album's full of it. This album, any any one of these songs they could put up and sing live, and everyone's gonna go absolutely crazy for. It. This was a banging album, crazy. Now I know that at the end of the albums, we like to do a rating right like a top three or a top four but there's too many good songs in this I, I don't know how to how to rank them just when you think you have one favorite song you get another favorite song and you know what the one that really surprised me the one that I added to my playlist right after I heard it that was touch it I believe and that is gonna be my number one for this album okay and I don't know if you guys agree with me I don't know if you have something else for your number one but that is gonna be my number one for this album and number two is tied between the Eve power sweet lies Coco Bop like I, I don't even know what to tell you guys diamond like <laughs> I don't I don't know I, I really don't know man I, I don't know how I'm gonna do this and you know what this time I'm not going to but what I do want to hear from you guys is what is your top five like or, or not even top five right you don't have to you don't have to rank them one to five just give me your five favorite songs from this album and I'll give you mine because they're all in my top five <laughs> they're all so good Man, this is crazy. I I'm gonna have to keep going back and um, I'll tell you guys over the next few days because I'm gonna add basically all these songs to my playlist and they're gonna be there for while I'm driving. I spend a lot of my time either at home or driving or listening to music while I'm working out, right? And um, I really need to get into that zone to really be able to just like sit back and enjoy the songs. And I'll let you guys know over the next couple days to a week or whatever and really let you know like what my favorites were coming from this album but Touch It seems like the one that I'm gonna be replaying for the next few days absolutely and um, Diamond too Diamond was just one of those banging banging songs so all I want to say is thank you so much for taking the time once again to watch this video with me guys I really do appreciate each and every single one of you that not only came to my Patreon to support me, but uh, for taking the time to take this and enjoy this experience and this ride with me, you know, it's, it's crazy to think that um, you're all with me on this, you know, and like, I'm, I'm recording this on my own, but I know that it's for all, of, it's not only for myself, but it's for all of you too, and it's just such a special, special feeling, right? So once again, I love you guys. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Please keep following your dreams live free and I'll catch you on the next one.